Hello? Pads here. As you know, I recently did Hunt and Review and then stopped doing that because, you know, it was just awkward, long videos. I think doing it this way is better. So we're going to stick with Pads' final verdict. Which is shitty reviews by a shitty person. And this week, or this video at least, I'm not sure if they're going to be weekly, monthly, yearly, but this video in particular is about a game called Paw Patrol on a roll. And yes, I did say that right. Paw Patrol on a roll. <laughs> you find to earn special pup treat awards at the end of the rescue mission okay this isn't going to be a long one but as i played this i wanted to talk about it first off yes i know this is a young children's game and i know it may be me being harsh but i think kids would be disappointed with this if they are fans of the show let's Start off with the pups. There's Chase, Marshall, Sky, Rocky, Zuma, Everest, Rubble, and Tracker. Unless more has been added to the TV show since my kids last watched the show, that is all the pups. That's pretty good, but there's no voice acting in the game except for Ryder the leader of the Paw Patrol, and a human child. Well, the issue there is the pups having no voices. They say nothing. Obviously. Kids would expect at least the occasional this pup's got to fly or I'm ready for a rough rough rescue. You know, it's strange for that the game based around playing as a team of talking dogs that none of the dogs speak. Ever. Ryder, on the other hand, does have a voice. He speaks during the mission briefing, explaining your mission. Well, that, and all the fucking time during levels. Oh, a coin! And then a few seconds later, don't forget the coins! Hey pups, remember to get those poor biscuits. Collect all the treats and you'll get a reward. He doesn't stop. He's so annoying. It's one of the many issues I have with this game. The game is a platform, and I guess it's at least competent in that area. Though, there's no challenge at all. Again, I understand it's a young children's game. But there's nothing there that you have to deal with. There's no enemies, which kind of makes sense. There's not a lot of things getting in the way of the Paw Patrol. They could have been bosses or something. There is the evil Mayor Humdigger in the show and his evil Catastrophe crew, but neither up here. You literally just jump about to the end, collecting 200 pup treats and 5 Paw Patrol medals. There's not really any obstacles either. You may get 2 points or so in a level where you have to call in another Paw Patrol member to move something, or carry you across a gap of water, or you can use an ability to climb a wall or get through a maze. Which, talking about the maze, Chase uses his Super Sniffer, which is his nose, obviously, to sniff his way through them. You then later in the game for two levels get to use Tracker. His ability is Super Hearing, which allows him to hear his way through mazes. It's exactly the same as Chase's ability, which again is disappointing. The biggest variation in the game is the flying and underwater sections with Sky and Zuma. Though, again, there's no challenge. You simply fly or swim to the end of the section and get the collectibles if you so choose. There are obstacles in the form of clouds and seagulls in the sky and seaweed and fish in the sea, but all they do is slow you down very briefly. But as there's no time limit or anything like that, it makes literally no difference to anything. Oh, I guess there's also another section as Everest, where you do some snowboarding. 
Again, it has obstacles that slow you down a little, but it's probably the most fun part of the game, which is honestly not saying much at all. Well, honestly, the game is awful, and I think younger children into Paw Patrol may even be disappointed in it. It's rather soulless. The thing is, there's plenty of children games that are tied into films or TV show, or there has been over the years. For example, while going a way back, The Lion King or Aladdin were great games, and they had things happen in them. Toy Story 3, which came out on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, also had various enemies and various challenges. I just think this is too dumbed down, like there's no respect for the player's intelligence or patience to learn something. Anyway, avoid this. It's shit. And as you know, I'm starting to do like the 10 out of 10 and 1 out of 10 and so on and so forth, but we give the Pugsley score because everyone loves Pugsley, including me because he's my dog. So I will give this a one Pugsley out of 10. I bet you any money Jeff have gone to bed now with his iPhone or iPod or Android phone or whatever. And he's lying in bed and he's listening to the fucking OST for this. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Round Adventure Bay, a rider and his team of pups will come and save the day. Marshall, Rubble, Chase, Rocky, Zuma, Sky, yeah, they're on the way. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, whenever you're in trouble. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, we'll be there on the double. No jobs too big, no pups too small. Paw Patrol, we're on a roll. So here we go, Paw Patrol, whoa-oh, Paw Patrol, whoa-oh, Paw Patrol.